Good morning, everybody. Welcome to cloudy, sunny, warm, muggy Weymouth. It is Saturday. I came down here for a quick hour. That was about nine o'clock. It's 20, 25 past 11. Five and 20 past, my parents always used to say. It's five and 20 past 11. I don't know what that's all about. Um, yeah, I came down for an hour and I've been here all that time, two and a half hours. I shall go back shortly and go get Boris and bring him back down. Right, because I am, because I'm getting ready to plant me onions and they're going in that, that bed there, I've dug all down from here, all this from here. And I've put it in here, look. I filled that half a side up. Now, when I did that, I didn't fill it up well enough. You can still see the planks there. And I really wanted them filling up that much. So what I'm going to do now is put loads of cardboard on top. I've got loads of paper as well. And then when I've done that... I'm going to put them unopened on top of it and that will like flatten it down quicker. Um, I won't need any more in there this year. I will probably have to just keep topping it up every year. Um, but yes, I'm going to get that side done. And then when I'm ready to plant my onions out, then I shall open them bags and tip them on. So, let's go get me cardboard. To say this is all out of my compost heap that isn't quite ready, it is quite nice compost. Not 100% ready, but, you know, there's still a lot of twigs in it and everything, but I bet I could sift that. There's a lot of plastic in it, and I think that's where I put the um, cardboard in and not taken the cellar tape off. I mean, there is still quite a few twigs in, ev in everything, but that's fine. That's okay. Right, so I'm gonna put the cardboard on. I haven't got my normal uh, stand, so I'm gonna just put you over here while I put my cardboard on. Okay, so I've put about five to seven layers on, something like that. I know it looks a bit full, but once I put them bags on top of it to weigh it down, it, it'll just, it will sink in no time. Um, that did. So, but I, I need to put more composting compost on there. So I'll put them bags on now. There we go. So I shall leave that and when them onions, oof, when them onions are ready to plant, I'll be able to just open them bags, pour it on and I'll make sure it's a couple, maybe three or four inches thick because that really would have sunk by then, especially if we get some more rain with that weight on top. Um... And that will house my onions, as I said. This side, I haven't got a lot of compost, composting compost in here because I did put a lot of wood in there at the bottom to rot down. Um, see that leaf fall off the tree then? Grrr. Um I forgot where I want now. Yes, I put loads of wood in it so that that could rot down. Um, and I believe that is from there onwards. So I'm going to have to look for compost somewhere else. But that'll be okay. Hang on. I mean, if needs be, if I really do need the space, I can take 
the compost, the composting compost from here and start there and maybe get to there and then, there, you know, just work my way up and put a piece of board in. Wherever I get to, I can just slot a piece of board in and screw it to the other boards until I get the rest of what I need, which should be very soon. I can just put me, um, me weed straight in here, really, to compost down. That would be no problem. Right. What now? As a lot of you know, I'm not really a flower person. Um, this looks lovely, doesn't it? That's. I'll take you outside a minute. And uh, so this is my flower area. There's my rhubarb there, but all this is flower area. And as you know, I like alisum, and that actually covers all the weeds and I'm fed up of weeding <laughs> so I just got half a packet of allium and other flowers as well and just threw them all over there and of course that's the only thing that um, came up now as I've said to you before see when they start getting like this that's that's the seeds and you can probably see them when I shake it Oh, it smells delicious. There are weeds in there. Um, but yes, that all you have to do with that is pick this up, find where the stalk is, and just cut it off at the bottom. Yes, it does show all the weeds then, um, but they just grow back so quickly. If you remember... <laughs> I'll have to do another one of them soon. It's... Um, fall into pieces if you remember look more allium sorry <laughs> if you remember um this half a barrel that i had up here um i buried all that allium and the lobelia and i said it had grow back and look at that within a couple of days And look at that big bunch in the corner there. You can tell that it is uh, the allium because there is a little head there of allium. Oh, got your, got your legs stuck. Got your legs stuck in this. Yes, yeah, so they're all growing again so it won't be long before this is all up again still got the little bit of lobelia there so I decided after seeing Colleen's lovely beautiful flower garden well it was a it was about a month ago actually um, when I saw her garden I thought god that looks so pretty I must get some flowers so when the sale started I went down and get all them seeds. I can't wait to plant them and for them to grow. I know there's tulips, lots of marigold, but I believe one's small marigold and one's the other, the bigger one. So, yes, I am so looking forward to sowing them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in pots and give them, I'll have to put, I'll have to do them separately, I think. You know, I'll have to put a few of them in one pot and a few of them in another pot and a few of them in another pot because I'm thinking that they... I might not get the colours right and they might look really silly. That looks awesome. I love that one. It's like a teddy bear sunflower, but not. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'll have a look round and see what other seeds I can get. And um, if, they're on, if they're going cheap, which they should be now at this time of year, 
then yes, I shall get some. Remember this one? This is this is the one that was there. Um, I chopped all the top off of that. Look, and that that's all growing again. Even the um, this was stock, really sweet smelling. Even that's growing again. Wow. But yeah, you can see all the little. You can see all the bigger plants, but even all the tiny ones at the bottom there. So I don't think I will ever not have allium. It is a dreadful weed. So if you don't like it that much, then don't get it. Oh, and yes, I lost a trowel. Oh, last year, couldn't find it anywhere. Found it in there as I was digging all this compost out. <laughs> brilliant right what now right I got into my leeks yesterday to to um, weed them and I have got I can't remember what it's called now leaf miner See that? It's just getting right into the middle and eating the leeks. I'm sure somebody's going to tell me what it is. I know Terry's talked, Terry King, he's talked about this before. So tell me what it is, please. Can I do anything about it or not? They all seem to have it. The chap next door, well, not next door. Um, him over there, he's got it as well. What can I do with it, please? How can I prevent it as well? Because you remember I had that bowl there with a lot in ready to plant, excuse me, and I was going to move all these potatoes here because they're all in pots and carry on planting them in, in this bed. But what I've done now is I've moved them right over here I've got to walk around the table now and planted them in here. I might have put too many in one pot, but they should be fine. And I've got these here left to plant. So I'm sure I can find another deep plant pot to plant them in. So tell me, please, what it is. If you know, and if you could also tell me how to get rid of it or how to prevent it. I'm keeping these right over here. I don't know if that will help. Um, but at least I'll be able to move that about if that gets it as well, if, if that's the case. I don't know. Thank you for that. Thank you in advance. Um, Lawrence said that he will come over and cut these two tree stumps down for me. I only grow that bit there on top for Eli because he likes damson branches. I just pull like a whole branch off and put it in his cage and he eats through it. So yes, I'm covered in spiders or something. I can feel them. Probably ants crawling all over me. What's next? Right, I'm going to end from this side of the allotment this time. Just give you a quick overview of it. I've got quite a big allotment. Other people's are smaller than mine. I think this is supposed to be two. I think it is. I think that's, that's supposed to be one. And that bit was supposed to be another one but I got them both I'm so lucky that I did I'm glad that I did as well I'll have to show you a picture of it what it looked like when I got it only I'd have to do it bring the iPad down and like have it there and then that's what it was like and that's what it is like you I can't believe it myself right um from Cloudy Weymouth, it is still 
pretty warm here. There's a bit of a breeze now, so it's getting a bit cloudier. Hopefully it will rain a bit more. Not that we haven't had enough, we've had loads. And the rain will get into all that and soak it and it will sink it down a bit. So, yes, and I'm going to have to pull my parsnips out soon. Very soon. I can't wait for that one. My parsnips harvesting with a hammer. That's it. Right, yes, so from whatever Weymouth it is today, I shall see you all later. Bye-bye.